Hi friends, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. Today I am going to prepare a video on journal import using FBDA. FBDA is nothing but the file based data import. So I am going to tell you practically how to implement that. For that I have to go to my Fusion instance first. So this is the catalog page of my Oracle Fusion instance. So I have to create the journal import. So I will do one thing. I will write all the steps which are required to perform this operation on one notepad. Okay, so our aim is journal import using FBDI. FBDI is nothing but the file based data import. So first of all, I will tell you that what is FBDI. So it is same as the interfaces. Okay, we can also call it as an interface. Okay, in interface, what we will do, we will insert the data from the legacy system to the Oracle EBS system. So similarly here also we will do the same. So here we are performing the import for the journals. Okay, so how this will work that I am going to brief you in this video. So for that we have to follow some steps. So in interface we will having the raw data file. Okay, so that is nothing but the CSV file or flat file. Okay, so that same CSV file or flat file we have to load the template for that particular file by using the Oracle website. Okay, so first step is download the template. So how you can download that template? For that you have to visit one website. The website is fusionappsoer.oracle.com. I am just copying that and pasting into my browser. So this is the particular website. So here we are using the cloud application. So I have to click on this cloud application. Then after one another page will open in front of us. So journal import. It is the financial term. Okay, which is related to the GL model. Okay, so that's why here we have to choose the module. So which module we are having financial. So I'm just clicking on this financials. So after coming on this page, you have to click on this administrator. So it will open the administrator panel for us. So here is option import data. So get started with file based data integration. We are performing the FBDI. So just click on that particular link then this page will open in front of us so it is having all the related modules so we are having it in the journal ledger so i'm just expanding the journal ledger then we are having the journal import so i had just clicked on journal import and here is then a xlsm template so just click on this template so it will download one csv file template for us okay so this is the file then you can see over here there are two tabs first is an instruction and the second one is an a gl interface okay so this is for the gl interface okay so here we are having the list of all the columns which we have to insert into our gl tables okay or journal tables so the status code must be the new then after we are having some different columns and here is an asterisk mark which is representing the mandatory field. So now we will enter one by one all the fields in this particular CSV. Okay. So for that first we need the ledger ID. Okay. So from where we are getting this ledger. So in which ledger we have to insert the data that ledger ID you have to give over here. So how we will find that. For that I am going to my fusion instance again. So I am just opening the new data model. Now I am opening the new data set. So just I had clicked on the plus icon. Then here is the SQL query. And now I am giving the name for the data set. Then here I am selecting the data source as an Fusion DB. And uh, we have to take the ledger ID. So I am writing that select star from GL ledgers where name like us okay so we will insert the data into the us primary ledger that's why i had given that us then here is a data then click on the record count select 100 
then click on view and here is a table view and then here we are having this ledger column so from this just find for the us primary ledger so this is our us primary ledger and this is our ledger id okay i'm just copying this you can see that this column is ledger id now i'm pasting it into the excel just i am copy pasting then effective date of transaction so i am just giving today's date as the effective date of transaction so it is 2021 slash 06 slash 09 9th of june 2021 we have to give this same format the next column is currency code which we find from the same table so i am just going back to the fusion instance so for this ledger which currency we are having that we have to find out so this is our ledger and our currency is usd so we are having the us dollar so i am just writing that usd over here then here the actual flag the actual flag is always a we have to select a then after we have to give this code combination that is segment 1 to segment 6 so that also we will find in code combination table so i will note down the second step that insert the required fields in the template so this is the second step now we have to find the code combination id so i will again go back to this diagram then i will edit my query and i will write select star from gl code combination okay so this is my table name i am just clicking on ok then again click on data then make it as 100 then click on view and then table view okay so here are a lot of code combination ids so for this i am just going to pick randomly one of them so it is my code combination id so i am just copying the same and i just pasted that code combination id over here so this column is journal source so from where we will get this journal source we will get it from glj source table so i am going back to the fusion instance then again diagram edit the diagram and write the table that is gl je sources just click on ok then here is a data make it as 100 then click on view then click on table view okay so here there are a lot of sources so from this which we have to choose so we are using the concept of spreadsheet for the journal import so that's why we have to search here spreadsheet okay so this is spreadsheet upload so for this we need the name of that source okay so, okay so this is my name of this particular j source that is the spreadsheet okay just i'm copying this and i'm and i'm pasting it over here then journal categories so journal category will came from glj categories so i'm just editing the query again so my table name is now glg categories i'm just clicking on ok click on data make it as 100 and click on view then click on table view then here different categories are there so we are doing the miscellaneous transaction so i'm just selecting the miscellaneous from it okay and i am just pasting that same into the our excel file the next one is in journal entry creation date so i am just copying the same date here also then i am going next these columns are not mandatory so here is the debit amount and credit amount so i am inserting the debit amount is thousand and we will use the second row for the credit amount of thousand also okay then here is the reference batch name so i am giving the test journal import 
okay so i am just copying the same name over here also and i am giving the same name for the journal 4 also and the rest of the fields are not mandatory so we will not going to insert any of them so for the second entry also i am inserting the second line so the first is for credit and the second is for debit so here i have to make one small change so this is my credit amount here i don't want to insert anything and this is my debit amount here also i don't want to insert anything then again i am performing the debit and credit on the same ledger copying the same debit and credit date is also same so here also these columns are also same and the code combinations also same so i am copying the same now what we have to do you have to go to this again first step that is instruction and session okay so here is a macro which the oracle has created so you just have to click on this generate csv file button but sometime the macro will not get automatically enabled so for that what you have to do here is in some security warning macro have been disabled so you have to go to the options you have to click on enable this content click on ok so macro is enabled now now just you have to click on generate csv file so it will generate one csv file for you and it will pop up one window to save that file so i am saving this file as gl je interface so i am just enlarging the column so you can see all fields are there so if you done the interfaces in the oracle r12 so you can know that there there won't be the header or you can have to write the skip one in the interface ctl program so here we don't have the headers okay so i am just doing one thing i am just closing this file and going back to my oracle fusion instance now what i have to do i have to go to the home page of oracle fusion instance then go to tools so here is a tool and you have to just go to file import and export okay so click on this file import and export so it will open one another window in front of you so if previously you had done any import and you want to search it you can search that using this prompts but i want to upload the new file so i'm just clicking on this plus icon and here i will choose that file so this is my glj interface dot zip so it will generate the zip file so you have to choose the zip file over here and you have to choose the account as financial journal ledger import financial journal ledger import this one okay and just you have to click on save and close okay so which got saved so i will note down the third step also go to import and export and upload this zip file okay so this is done now what you have to do you have to submit some programs using the schedule jobs so again go to tools and there is a schedule jobs or schedule processes so the schedule processes will submit the some standard jobs so as in the r12 we are having some standard concurrent program to insert the data into the base tables so same like over here also we are having some standard program so first we will schedule one program that is load interface file so just try to search this okay so this is the program load interface file for import so as soon as i clicked on ok it will ask for the parameters so i will note it down first schedule the program load interface file for import then going back to the fusion instance screen so here is an import process just click on this drop down here is a search option click on this search then right here import journal because our program is for the import journal then just tab out and click on search 
now select this import journals the second parameter will get enabled so here select the data file which we had saved so that the csv which is generated that will save into the format of .zip so our file name is glje interface .zip so i am selecting this one and i will click on submit button so as soon as i clicked on submit it will submit the process with one process id just click on ok and refresh it so you can see your load interface file for import this is in the ready state i am refreshing it again so transfer file this sub program is submitted keep refreshing till the status of that program is succeed so this program is succeeded now okay now if you want to check the log so you can just select and here is the log option so you can select the log now you have to submit one another program to insert the data into the base table so the program name is import journal so this is the program import journal i am just selecting it and i am clicking on ok so it will pop up one parameter page okay so while inserting the data here we had given the us primary ledger so we have to select the same us primary ledger so source is nothing but the spreadsheet so just tab out and it will select the other fields automatically okay so group so group is 999 so just click on submit button so this will submit the program now click on ok so just refresh so this program will submit some another programs also so you can see import journals it is in running state now it is paused and it had submitted one child program that is import journal child how program went into the warning so just click on the program so here you can check the log as well as the output so this is the log file and this is the output file just i'm opening the output file it went into the error so what will be the error okay the code combination id is nothing but the error okay it is the flex value is disabled someone had disabled the flex value for this particular code combination id that's why it went to the error this is the vision instance so a lot of people are doing the development over here or changing the setups so that's why it went but if you give this pro proper segments then it will properly insert into the table so this is the process for the journal import using the fvdi file based data transfer if you have any doubt you can write into the comment section